sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the Bandai to Machinations SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Broly movie version Broly. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see we do get the basic style box when it comes to the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line. So we do get the one right there on the front of the box and on the window in white does the SH Figure Arts Broly Super. Then we do get the Machinations quality sticker on the right side. We do get a dope image of the figure, then we do get the toy animation, warning, blah, 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 Dragon Ball Super, to my Nations, and Bandai. And then here is the bottom of the box, we do get a cool black and white image of Broly there, same thing on the top of the box with the window as well, and then the one side here does have the continuation of the window, then the other side we do get some more cool black and white images of the figure, then back here we have a bunch of really dope poses you can get the figure into along with some of the accessories, but anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure over to take a closer look at this version of Broly I didn't think they were going to make, so I got really happy when they first revealed it. Now, ready to take it a closer detailed look, and once again, Tamashii Nations knocked it out of the park with another Broly figure, and I was actually surprised they were going to make this Saiyan armor version of Broly from the Super movie. So happy that they did, because this is my favorite version of Broly from the newer Broly movie. Now, the hair sculpt here looks sick as hell, man. They did a beautiful job sculpting that with all the sculpted lines all throughout it. It is very sharp, so be careful of that, but the hair turned out great, man. Really nice job on that. And the face sculpt, this is definitely my favorite one. This is when he's in that form where he's mixed like the great ape form, but he's still in his human form, so that's definitely my favorite face right there. You can even see the, the orange around the eyes as well. We get some beautiful sculpt and paint detail on the face. The scar looks great inside the mouth and everything around the eyes. So really nice job on that face sculpt there. And then the skin tone, there is shading all throughout it. So definitely big plus for that. Nice sculpt work on the muscle definition. The Saiyan armor looks dope as hell, man. They did a great job with that. You just have to be careful with plastic or paint rub with this green piece on the center of the torso rubbing up on the lower torso. And then same with the lower portion of the hair rubbing up on the white piece right here on the Saiyan armor, so just be careful of uh, plastic or paint rub there, because you might damage a little bit of your figure, but the Saiyan armor looks great, we get some very clean paint work all throughout it, I don't see any paint issues on the shoulder pad pieces where the white meets that blackish color, and where the green meets the black as well, so really nice job on the Saiyan armor, the back looks pretty dope, and I like the way the uh, designed the shoulder pad pieces, it's on a ball hinge just right here, so you can Pinch that all around. You can remove it if you really wanted to as well. So really dig that new design that they used there. And then the arms turned out really nice too. You can see the shading all throughout it. We do get his scar on the shoulder and on the bicep as well. Elbow joints look pretty good too. And then we do get his wristbands, which look dope also. And then we do get his pelt here, which doesn't have any shading on it. Wish they would have added it this time around, but I guess they decided not to, but beautiful sculpt detail all throughout it with the sculpted wrinkles, and it does look like some fur from a creature's ear, which is w what it is. It's that creature's ear that he became friends with on that planet that him and his father were trapped on. And it is in three pieces, just like the full power Broly. We get the two pieces in the front, and then this piece in the back, which is on a hinge, exactly like the full power uh, version of Broly. And you can see the beige on the inside as well and then the legs we do get some nice sculpt detail all throughout the muscle definition knee joints look great and the lower legs here the uh the boots kind of look similar to the wristbands right there and then the feet here nice sculpt and paintwork on them as well and then the bottom of them nothing going on but overall like i said tamashi nations once again knocked it out of the park with another broly figure and they are what I'm not going to count the San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, so they are three for three with Broly figures, and I gotta say, this is hands down my favorite one out of all three of them. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, Broly is included with some pretty cool stuff, but the main complaint people did have with this figure, including myself, is he's not included with enough alternate faces. Yeah, with the black hair sculpts you could swap those faces but there's no more faces for those hair sculpts and there's no faces for the super saiyan hair sculpts so uh, some people were let down by that including myself and another issue is people didn't like that they included the power down hair sculpt because the body is a little too big for broly when he was just in his base form which i completely understand and agree with they just should have made a separate figure for this version 
of Broly, but what we do get, we do get the three interchangeable hair sculpts, and we do get a face for each hair sculpt. And starting on the left, ignore all the things that the heads are resting on. This is Kakashi's lightning plate here, but starting on the left here, we do get the base form hair sculpt with a basic stern face on there, and all the face sculpts, they, they just did fantastic, outstanding detail on all of them and same with the hair sculpts as well they did a great job with the powered down one so we do get that one then in the middle here we get my favorite which is when he does that form when he's still in his human form but he's using the power of the great ape and i love this face sculpt as well i love the different color eyes how the eyes turn orange when he's in that form and we do get a yelling screaming facial expression and uh, we already took a look at this one that's the one that co does come on the figure out of the packaging and then finally we do get the super saiyan hair sculpt with an angry teeth gritted face and we'll get some nice shading here and there throughout the yellow there and it's pretty much the same hair sculpt as this one here with all the sculpted lines looks fantastic and the face also looks great and if you really wanted to the faces on the full power broly is a little bigger compared to these ones but you can swap them if you really wanted to but the yellow is different compared to this yellow here and it's very easy to swap the faces and the hair sculpts i'll show you how to do that right now quickly and show you what broly looks like with all three of them on and the way you swap the faces and hair sculpts is very simple now here is the base form or powered down form and the body is a little bit bigger for this form here it should be a little more slim not as bulky like i said they just should have made a separate figure for this version of broly but i mean if if you don't really mind it it can still work so the way you swap the heads you just pull up and be careful there's a lot of sharp parts on his hair and his nose is sharp as well and it's just a ball peg as you can see so it just take whichever hair sculpt next here pop that on and the way you swap the faces for the black hair sculpts you just pull the front of the hair off pull the face off do the same thing on the base form one here and then take the stern face peg that on and then just peg the front of the hair back on and then there you go as simple as that i do like how you could swap those two faces at least just wish they gave a few more alternate faces and the way you swap for the Super Saiyan 1, or what the Super Saiyan 1 looks like on the figure. There you go. I mean, all, all the hair sculpts look dope on the figure. I just feel like this one and this one are what really is meant for this version of Broly here. So we do get the three hair sculpts with the three faces. And then we also get the necklace his father used to control Broly when Broly would get a little out of control. And it looks fine, nothing too crazy. It looks like how it's supposed to look, and it's really easy to get it on the figure. You just have to take off one of the head sculpts and then just pop this on. And I'll show you how to do that right now quickly. And the way you get this necklace piece on is really simple. It's just like if you're swapping one of the heads there, just pull the head off pop that around the neck there and then just pop the head back on and then there you go as easy as that so we do get the necklace that tries to contain broly's power and then we finally get six alternate hands and starting on the top right here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging then we do get a pair of open palm blast hands which are my favorites then we do get another pair of open hands but the fingers are clenched a little bit and they're the same type of hands that we got with the full power broly the full power broly's hands are a little bit bigger though and all the hands are really easy to swap out and we get some great detail throughout all six of them but anyway that is all the accessories included with broly let's keep moving on with the rest of the review shall we now for the height of broccoli to the very top of his head it looks like he's about six and a half inches tall then to the top of his hair he's a little over seven and a half inches tall and then here he is compared to the ESH Fake Yards 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Goku, the 2.0 Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Golden Frieza, and the Full Power Broly. And as you can see in size and bulkiness, he is a little bit smaller compared to the Full Power Broly, which he should be. And then here he is compared to a bunch of the other SH Fake Yards Dragon Ball figures. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awaken Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. 
Well, let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and this Broly it does have some really nice movement here. So we do have two joints at the neck. The upper neck is like a barbell type joint, but the lower portion of the hair is going to hinder it. So you really can't get him to look up at all with the upper neck, but he does look down pretty good with the upper neck there. Do get a little bit of pivot, gets hindered a tiny bit by the hair, then it does swivel as well. The lower neck here does go forward and back pretty well. So moving the lower neck back, you can get him to look up a little bit more. And going forward, he pretty much looks directly down. You get a little bit of pivot there, and then it does swivel as well. So we do have pretty good movement there. It just gets hindered by his hair a little bit. Then we do get a joint at the torso and at the waist, but the torso joint on this figure isn't really too good. Plus this green piece does get in the way and it rubs up on the lower torso, torso damaging uh, some of the plastic or I believe that's painted. Yeah, I think that's painted or maybe the white's painted. I could be wrong, but it is damaging some of the lower torso there. But that joint really doesn't go forward and back really at all, as you can see right there. And it really doesn't pivot too much as well as you can see but it does swivel a tiny bit I would recommend just using the waist joint because the waist joint has really pretty good movement not the best but definitely better than the torso so he crunches forward about that much goes back about that much do get much better pivot at the waist and then it also has better swivel as well now for the arms here as I mentioned the shoulder pad pieces are on a ball hinge so they can hinge back and forth and they can swivel and you can also remove them if you would really like to then we do get a shoulder joint here and then we do have like this side torso joint which is kind of like a butterfly joint but it moves up as well it kind of moves around with the arm so I do like that point of articulation that they added with this Broly and then at the shoulder it just goes slightly in a circular motion but combining that side torso it does move all around right there and then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees so that's definitely awesome they do go up and down we do have true bicep swivel which is really tight on my figure there then we do have double jointed elbows that do bend in a little more than 90 degrees then we do have the ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth now for the legs here while well, the pelt is on a hinge on the back right there it's just like the full power Broly. Now for the legs here, unlike the full power Broly, these legs actually drop down a little bit. So Broly can kick forward a little more than 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. Goes to the back almost 90 degrees. Let's see if he can Jean-Claude Van Damme it. And sometimes my left leg pops off when I force the articulation a little too much. Like right now it just popped off. But he, uh, he, he almost can... Van Damme, he pretty much can. My, my left leg just keeps popping off there. You bastard. Uh, then we do get a nice upper thigh swivel right there. We do have double jointed knees that bend back a little more than 90 degrees. Then for the ankles here, they do swivel. They hinge up just a tiny bit, hinge down a little bit, and then we get a great ankle pivot if you get it over this piece right here. If you don't, you won't be able to pivot any further than that but if you get the foot over that piece you get some really nice pivot there and then we do have a nice toe hinge as well so this broly pretty much has identical articulation to the full power broly some points definitely are different some are better some aren't but you're gonna be able to get him in some badass berserker broly like poses and i'm about to show you some of them right about now but anyway, that is my review of the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Super Broly movie version. Broly, hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail, easily give it a perfect 10. Articulation, I'd give it an 8.5. Accessories, I'd give it an 8.5. And the overall quality, I'd give a 9.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get the Japan version of this from Ageless Geeks, but he is sold out of that version. He will have the US version once that releases so you can check over at hlsgeeks.com if you can't find something on there i do highly recommend going through their instagram or facebook page i will put more information in the description below and if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it oh well i guess you didn't like it but thanks for watching i will see you later
it's Dragon Ball light. So we do get the window right there on the front of the box, on the left side of the back, and blah, blah, blah. On the right side, we do get a top image of the figure, then we do get the toy, of the figure, then we do get the toy animation, morning, blah, 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 Dragon Ball Super, blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. On the right side, we do get a cool image of the figure, we do get the, uh, we, a way to buy and chubba de That's toy animation, not to my nations. The ESH figure art, Super Saiyan, blah, 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 blah. There he was gonna put him <laughs> His necklace that his father used to con to <laughs> the SH figure arts Dragon Ball Line. So we do get the window right there in the front of the box on the top to see SH figure arts and broccoli.